Welcome to part 2 of the muffin making series. Today we are going to see into the sculpting part. We'll sculpt the top part of the muffin to make it look more appear uh, to have its ap appearance of a realistic look. So we will use the sculpting tool in Blender. So let's get started. So uh, to do the sculpting part we need to check the mesh counts as you can see uh, if you go to edit tab uh, you see that we don't have dense shape uh, meshes so for that we can go to the add modifier tab and select the subdivision surface option so make sure the muffin is selected while you do this and if you want you can check the statistics tab to check the number of count mesh count now increase the levels viewport to 3 this will give it higher density mesh also add the solidify modifier option this will give it thickness to the muffin surface so the higher value on the thickness that you go the better mesh density you have and due to this will be helpful in the sculpting phase so I'll increase the thickness value just a little bit further I'll make it 0.1 okay so the modifiers have not been applied yet so to apply them move your cursor here and you can use the shortcut key ctrl A I'll turn on the keys so that you can see move your cursor here and control A also the same way control A now if you go to edit tab you can see that we have applied the the subdivision and now we have a dense mesh and this is what we need for sculpting uh, process so to go to the sculpting select the muffin Let's, let's rename it by double clicking and rename this to muffin. Now while it's selected, go here up here to the sculpting phase. Now you may need to zoom it. If your sculpt in your sculpting mode, if the object appears gray, that's okay. If yours is different, you can go here and change the colors. Maybe yours may be red type like this one. Okay. So before you start, make sure the dine tap option is checked. Press OK. Also check the smooth shading option down here. I'll change the detail size to 4 pixels. On the left side, you have the price size. If you drag it, it will show you the names. For now, I'll begin with clay strips. Also, you can change the brush diameter here and also the strings. The best way to change the brush size is press F and move your cursor like this. So I'm going to create some random shape. Maybe this is too big. I'll undo it. Control Z and I'll decrease the Press F and move your cursor to decrease the brush size. So yeah, this appears to be the right size. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this just randomly. You can check the view if you want to view the view count. So while we do this, the number of vertices and triangles increase, which means the file size is increasing. So if you notice uh, muffins, they don't have smooth shape like this. They have uh, regular shapes. So if you have some reference picture at hand, uh, you can refer it. So I'm going over it randomly to create different bumps. So you don't have to copy me on this step. You can be, you can do things on your own. 
So try to create some random shapes like this to make it more appear, uh, to give it a natural look. So the more random it is, the uh, better. So I'll just go over the parts that are still smooth and I'm just adding some thickness. Yeah, if the muffin goes over the cup, that's okay. That looks even more realistic. Yeah, now the, we don't have the smooth part anymore. Yeah, so our muffin is taking shape. Another brush that I want to use is the grab brush. Let me increase the size by pressing F. And this will deform the object that we are sculpting. You can move it up and down like this. So if you notice, muffins have some kind of uh, dome shaped structure. So at the middle, they are like have higher elevation and on the sides they appear to going down they are lower elevation so i'm trying to achieve that look you don't it doesn't have to be like a super accurate dome but some kind something that resembles it so maybe i'll grab the middle part apart so the middle part has a higher elevation Yeah, now the, it's coming along. I'll drag the edge part outside to the outside maybe. Yeah, so it's looking good. Another option is the crease brush. So if you notice on the top, muffins have some kind of cracks appearing on the top. Let me decrease the radius and increase the strength to one. So I'm trying to create, create some creases on the top. And this will look it uh, look give it uh, an appearance of a realistic look. So move your brush on top of it like this. If you have a paint brush uh, tablet or something, that it will be more uh, easier. Otherwise, you can move move your use your mouse like this. So if you go over the same place uh, many times multiple times the depth of the crease increases so i'm just uh, going over it creating random creases uh, as possible so just use your uh, imagination here from years of muffin, if you have been a fan of muffins, maybe that will be helpful here. Otherwise, you can use some reference photos. So you don't have to uh, overdo overdo it on this step. Just uh, be as random as possible. I will try something here. So on the top part. Yeah, on the edge also.
Yeah, so it's uh, it's looking good. Yeah, if you notice, maybe if you move your cursor multiple times on the object, the mesh sometimes starts to run out. You can use the clay strips to cover these parts. In the earlier process, the subdivision process was necessary to avoid such problems. Still, if you face them, use also the smooth brush to cover the openings and this will make the mesh more smooth maybe on the top also i'll uh, smooth this thing all right now it's looking good think it's pretty much done we have made significant uh, changes to the way we started it was just a smooth dome shaped thing now it's a regular shaped with cre different creases let's go to the layout mode and see what we have done so far yeah I think this looks pretty good All right. Also, uh, for the cap, also we can do some sculpting. Select the cap and go to the sculpting. Now we are uh, sculpting the the cap only. The muffin won't be affected. So for this, you don't need to check the dying tapo step. We're just going to deform it using the grab brush. Let me increase the size using F and move your cursor. So if you notice, most uh, the cap of the muffin that holds the muffin is made of paper and it absorbs oil from the muffin and it has some kind of uh, deformed wavy like uh, structure so I'm, I'm trying to go for that so here also uh, you can do your own thing just uh, be as random as possible If the strings is too much, you can uh, lower the strings. Yeah, not too much, just slight deformations. So uh, go over the other side also and do the same. Here also you don't have to overdo it. Just randomly go through it. Maybe I lower the strings a little bit down. Yeah. and be as random as possible yeah so uh, sculpting needs some time just take your time and and make it like uh, to get the best results you don't have to rush it Okay. 
now it's giving uh, some kind of like a paper kind of take uh, structure texture thing and that's what we want also on the other side we still have some remaining I'm just going over them just doing some random deformations okay I think uh, that's it the cap looks uh, almost done yeah I think I'll leave it at this this looks more uh, more realistic now Yeah, so we have achieved the wavy-like appearance that we were looking for. So the, we have avoided the straight corrugated sheet look that uh, was a while ago. So. Let's go to the layout mode and see what we have done. Okay. Yeah. So we have made really significant changes to the cup and the muffin. If you uh, remember how we started, now we have we have uh, we are able to achieve a more uh, realistic shape. So you can just experiment with your own uh, ideas. On this step, there is no single way of doing it. Yeah. So, if you need to make some changes, you can go back to the sculpting mode. Now I have selected the muffin. I'll check the dying tapo. And... I want to smooth the edge parts of the muffin. I'll use a smooth brush. Maybe I'll take the edge off around here. I'll use uh, also the flat brush. You don't have to really do this, but uh, if you want, I'm just trying to show you, you can make some changes. Yeah, um, okay. If you run out of mesh, you can use a smooth brush also, and this will fix the problem. Okay, I'll increase the strings. Also, alternatively, you can use uh, other brush for this purpose, like the scrape brush. This will scrap some the edge parts for you. This is exactly what I wanted. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think it uh, looks uh, better now. Okay. 
Yeah, so that's uh, all for the sculpting part for today. So on the next episode, we are going to see the how we can render this part and export it as an image on our rendering part on the following episode. 